My name is Charles Doxley. I work at the NASA Glenn Research Center for the Avionics Division. I'm an electronics engineer and I work for the Compatibility Test Sets Project. I have a bachelor's degree in mathematics from Albany State University in Albany, Georgia, and a master's degree from Tuskegee University in Tuskegee, Alabama. Compatibility Test Sets Project is the next generation compatibility test set which is replacing the compatibility test sets van. And what we do is we test uh, future space radios to make sure they are compatible with the TDRS tracking and data relay satellite system so they don't cause damage when you connect to them. The opportunity to work at NASA seemed so exciting to me that I actually held off the completion of my thesis and came to NASA Glenn Research Center and worked three co-op rotations consecutively just so I can have an opportunity at a job. And once I was done with my co-ops, I was hired on directly after I went back to Tuskegee for two weeks and presented my master's thesis. I think Black History Month is extremely important. One of the most important things about the current state of Black History Month is just learning about our heritage and what we've come from and the struggles that African Americans have been through to get to the point that they are today. To now understand that anything is possible we see African-American presidents, President Barack Obama. We see African-American Super Bowl champions, Russell Wilson. So now the goal in the African-American community and about just black history in general should be understanding that anything is possible, but how can we make things more probable? We need more youth involved in STEM in general, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, whether they're black, white, Asian, Latino, Native American, Currently in America, we're in the technology age. So if we want to continue to grow and be one of the leading nations in the world, we have to invest in STEM and our young people in STEM so we can continue to grow as a country and a nation.